Hello dear traders, Petr Achievement here from Vikofanalysis.com. I want to speak about the, my positions and about the um, USD, USD Canadian dollar and USD Swiss franc. Since I saw the opportunities there and I have the, I have positions on um, these uh, currency, uh, currency pairs, so I want to go through the explanation and I will also speak about the fake breakouts and the reasons why most of the traders are um, losing money and why this game is uh, why the forex trading is very hard and you must be very very skilled and um, uh, have the very very good uh, risk control and money management so basically um, let's start with the GBP US dollar we got a massive massive drop because of the uh, Great Britain exited the European Union and uh, we got a massive drop of 1700 pips almost 1800 pips um, so pretty much um, if you uh, got some positions there if for example I didn't trade this um, this day at all uh, when this uh, happened because I don't want to chase the market and um, gamble where the price will go on, on, on this news you know um, and on that way uh, you know put my uh, account in my portfolio on the large risk so basically what you want to do is wait the low risk setups in uh, the setups which can bring you the quality re returns uh, so where you can establish the quality risk reward ratios basically uh, that's the the key part in, in, in financial market so after this drop we got the climatic action which is the normal um, this is an ultra high volume. It was ultra high also on the futures market. Yeah, it was also uh, <clears throat> you see the widespread of the bar. It's an insane climatic action. So once you see this, um, you must know that most of the professionals will exit positions near this stage and they will exit there. On that way, they will let the they will. Um, take a breath let's say and let the buyers to come in and this is what creates an automatic um, rally so this is automatic rally so in reaction of this climax the automatic rally happened at 730 pips anyway price managed to read that swing low which is also normal because they uh, the smart money they want to investigate how many sellers left and uh, what is the is that the selling big or not so they let this um, they also add some selling positions but this time not even close of the size of this previous downward push so they uh, they sell enough to test the swing low and there they basically let the public to see what uh, how they will uh, do do they have power for the lower price or um, if they don't have the uh, power for lower price that smart money can actually buy there and uh, since they already closed their short position from this stage here and they can buy here uh, <clears throat> and once they saw that there is no actual real power for the lower price um, what that created uh, this, this, this created a fake breakout or a sell trap this is a classic sell trap uh, we trapped a lot of traders all around the world a lot of um, investors because the reason is very simple. Again, I spoke on my webinar about um, fake breakouts and the breakouts of the fake breakouts of the trading ranges, but also fake breakouts of the swing lows or swing highs. I really use this um, um, analysis in my in my main trading, uh, on, on, you know, um, on trading for the for the for the clients. Because. Uh, I will, let, I will tell you just one thing. I have experience of, of about eight years, and in my experience, the, uh, most of the traders they're losing money because uh, they trade absolutely the same logic. Uh, you know, um, they use the, um, you know, um, they buy on the breakouts of the highs. They sell the breakouts of the lows. Um, I mean that's the breakout traders or they wait for some trend so they want to sell the pullbacks and so on that's all okay nothing wrong with that but on the forex uh, the market makers basically um, absolutely uh, like this behavior from the crowd because the most of the crowd trade the same principles 
uh, usually uh, again breakouts or they doing some Elliott wave um, theory or um, some patterns chart patterns for example like triangles um, you know um, uh, pennants uh, or flags and so on so all these patterns and so on they came from the stock market stock market is very different from the forex and uh, most of the of the things on the stock market is actually um, totally reversed here basically uh, if you uh, if you I trade also stock market but um, there if you have for example the bullish flag and you see the increasing in the volume and you see the um, uh, increasing the volume of the breakout and you see the for example the financial uh, the good earnings for the company you you know you trade that's a very very different from the forex because forex is pure speculative market there is no centralized volume we can see we can have idea about the volume using the futures market combining the for example volume from CME uh, um, um, <clears throat> FXCM uh, traders because they uh, have the transparent uh, volume uh, from from their clients but that's it's not actually um, the whole volume the, the, the whole volume we will never know but we have actually a good picture um, but when you trade the patterns when you trade the uh, things with most of the traders are are trading basically the market makers absolutely enjoy this and they know how to counter this very easily let's say on this way you got the climax there first of all um, all traders saw the massive massive drop and some massive drop the price went to um, to to retest the swing low anyway the more uh, the traders uh, the the panic buyers they started to buy this stage here they think this that that's it the price uh, already uh, went a lot of you know thousand and eight hundred people they expect uh, back here you know and so on but the smart money they were going to test not just to test they'd break out this for a very good amount of pips I mean a hundred pips they did a, the, the price traded lower hundred pips and what they they closed the buyers from this stage here who who bet that the price will uh, right now uh, maybe uh, absorb this uh, supply and so on so, they, so first of all this um, breakout close the buyers from this stage here all the buyers who bought at this stage or this stage here with the stop loss below the swing low which is what most of the traders um, doing they put uh, stop losses in, near the or just below the swing lows or you know so smart money close them with this push lower but they also bring the breakout traders because the breakout traders saw the opportunity because we got a new low and the price um, uh, the price broke this swing low so that bring the 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 sellers at this stage here but what the smart money is actually doing they actually buying here pretty much the same level where I bought the most of the smart money that they also bought here why again the same reason for this testing of the swing low is to see how the public will react and, and what is the public power of the crowd power the smart money the smart investor they saw that there is no actual real power to push uh, any lower and on this way they create the fake breakout they they trap the sellers and sellers are right now in the big trouble they are forced to close the, the sell orders from this stage here or to join the buying side which will push even higher this currency pair and on this way we create the more demand because the sellers of the breakout needs to close and most of them will probably reverse but at which point that is also questionable they can reverse at this point they can exit they can exit uh, higher they can you know maybe they still hold the selling position at this stage if there is a, some short midterm traders <clears throat> but um, I am a like short-term trader I want I don't want to clo uh, to uh, to hold for too too long um, setup I have my defined target I will hold for a max few days and I will of course secure my positions and follow and you know um, follow my setup so far I'm in plus about 180 pips the risk was 120 pips this is about almost one to two ratio but I'm trying to take about 
one to seven risk or ratio they set up. So this is about the GBPSD. We got the massing climax, we got the automatic re uh, rally, and we got the fake breakout. Um, uh, since we got the massive climax in the background, this fake breakout is a very big. Let's go to USD Canadian dollar. It's it's actually reversed. So, <clears throat> pardon. We got a buying climax here. Um, very good, two hundred fifty-three. Uh, wide uh, the spread of the bar. It's a, this was a climatic. It was a thick volume climatic. It was on the also futures market. Price did the automatic reaction, and then price managed to go again to fake the buyers at this stage here. But keep in mind this thing. Um, why I'm telling you, uh, I will just go and show you. For example, look at this uh, triangle here. This was uh, a very good triangle, and this um, price uh, broke the, the the resistance here and a lot of traders got trapped here. So if you traded a chart pattern, you pretty much got all you need. But there is one big problem here. This is not a stock market and the trends here are very, very um, limited. And the speculation on the Forex is much, much bigger. And uh, since this is a not centralized market, you actually have no clue about the exact power here, power here on the breakout. And not just that, um, I will go back to four hour. Um, so a lot of buyers got trapped here. Maybe they're still hoping that the price will go higher and so on. But uh, the seller started and smart money started to sell. Again, we got a fake breakout of the, um, the, the swing high. And on the climax, we know that most of the professionals close their transactions near this stage here. So there is no actually real uh, the power from the uh, large investors to push this higher, which means that they are they are they are selling this. Uh, they added selling on this fake breakout, and the public will join once they see that they are wrong with the buying positions. So the key point here is to position yourself at the best stage you can to define your stop loss. Uh, don't extend the overall risk. I risk a one percent usually in this kind of setup. And I'm usually going for minimum at least one to three risk reward ratio. So I'm going for at least 3% in return. Of course, I can let even to much higher, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7 uh, risk reward ratio. But again, I will follow the price action and then decide. So far, my fixed target is where this automatic uh, reaction swing low happened and near the 1.2895. Okay, so so far, I'm, I'm in plus, plus about 50 pips on this currency pair. Okay, uh, so this is about the USD Canadian dollar. Again, if you trade chart patterns, um, if you trade the, the, if you're a trend trader, you will be in loss in this scenario here. The trend was massively upward. I will show you this stage here. If you even if you watch, <clears throat> for example, go to 30 minutes, we got a massive uh, higher swing closer here. So, um, the trend is it's, it's, it's actually upward, okay, on the short-term perspective. But, again, the, the smart money, uh, they really, really speculate here, and they actually, their job is actually to, um, um, you know, it's, a, it's very easy. If it's, it's something too obvious. It's like 90% it will be resolved with the loss. The reason is, if something is too obvious, it's also for the most of the traders. It's also too obvious for the market makers to trap the the weak holders or the the crowd, okay? Because it's very easy to trap. I mean, um, if they see, for example, everyone see the triangle, everyone see the buying trend. So when the breakout happens. Um, you know, most of the public, uh, they start to buy and so on. They see only higher price, but the smart money start to sell with the big orders and uh, they absolutely trap the most of the crowd. And then the, that crowd join the smart money later because they see that they're wrong. And that way, they take the money of most, most of the traders. That's why the most of traders losing money, basically, because they trade... Um, 
the principles which are absolutely obvious and um, you know um, <clears throat> for everyone and um, imagine that this is uh, like that you have the pattern here on the forex and you just trade that and everyone will be million millionaires so you must be different and trade a different approach the more precise you must trade more um, like the, the the market makers and try to trap the the crowd so when I trade well, I always uh, imagine myself like um, ultra big uh, market maker with uh, billions of the of the of the dollars and I think like how will I trap the crowd it doesn't matter if I have the account of 1000 euros or 10,000 euros I always uh, imagine myself like that I'm a I'm a very very big investor um, you know with the billions of in, in, in portfolio and that I need to um, to earn uh, and I um, I need actually basically to trap the crowd uh, if I want to uh, create uh, the big um, a profit so that's that's how I'm I'm thinking as well <clears throat> okay and finally the USD Swiss franc it's uh, we got the same thing here we got uh, buying climax there uh, the bar of 200 pips the price went higher and um, price rejected from the high again fake breakout so I sold position with um, 40 45 pips stop loss and I'm going for at least one to three risk reward ratio um, so again it's the same logic um, it doesn't matter even if um, of course uh, again this is a not holy grail something like that this is a just how you can establish the high the low risk setups and which can bring you the high risk reward ratio which is also very important uh, what is in most important here is that you trade against most of the crowd which is actually the good path to do um, so uh, that will be all for now um, I, ho <coughs> I hope you enjoy this and uh, very soon I will, um, I will, I will um, create the, the webinar and I will speak a lot of this subject about um, the mindset of the market makers and how you need to um, how you can actually follow them and become market maker even even though you don't have money to do these maneuvers they doing and trap the crowd you need to think like them and just if you think like them you can become one of them that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed if you like my video feel free to subscribe on my youtube channel also you can follow my work on the uh, forex factory the trade name is the Darto trading by Petar Serbia and if you want to invest money I'm also doing the I'm managing the accounts you can invest you can contact me on the Skype my Skype username is Petar.Yakimovic I will write my Skype username in the description of the video so you can contact me uh, for uh, if you want to start to invest or if you want to learn um, I have I have my mentorship program with, where I teach you seven days curse where I teach you uh, the principles I trade and my daily routine and pretty much everything you need to know about professional trading and how you can also become professional that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed wish you good trading and have a nice day